Vietnam had always threatened. To the last, Iraq also continued to strike back with Scud missiles. One came down on an American Marine's barracks near the important Allied base at Dharan in Saudi Arabia. It was the single most costly incident suffered by the United States. 28 reserves died. Tuesday, February the 26th, the first Arab forces reached Kuwait City itself. The Iraqis, after a final outburst of looting and destruction, had gone. Seven months of occupation were over. There was jubilation as the Kuwaiti flag, prohibited since early August, was unfurled again. I feel pretty good. Iraq's military defeat was overwhelming when victors met vanquished at a disused airfield in Allied-held southern Iraq to dictate peace terms. I don't want to embarrass them anyway, right? No, sir. Inside the tent, Iraq's two most senior army commanders. They agreed all Allied terms for leaving Kuwait. What nobody knew then was that they'd withdrawn tens of thousands of their best troops and weapons to the north of Iraq to put down anticipated rebellions. In Kuwait, the most prominent buildings, as well as many homes, had been looted and burned. Untold numbers of unnamed bodies were mute testament to a reign of Iraqi terror during the occupation. For many of those responsible, the war ended in terror on the Basra Road at a place called Mutla Gap. For miles, Vehicles stolen from Kuwait now lay burned and broken, devastated by the final Allied air attack. Both sides of the road, littered with the evidence of an army of looters fleeing in panic. Countless corpses lay where they had died. Ahead, rebellion in the Shiite holy places, put down ruthlessly by the troops Saddam had kept from battle. And in northern Iraq, the tragedy of the Kurds, who'd also risen against Saddam, expecting Allied aid that never came. As thousands fled their failed uprising, they became trapped in barren mountains, freezing and starving. Schwarzkopf said he'd been prevented from finishing the job, but it remains to be seen whether that human tragedy will blunt the tremendous military victory. Darkness at noon the other legacy of Saddam's mother of battles. Burning oil casting another dark cloud over the achievements of Operation Desert Storm. <laughs>